Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Edmonton Real Estate Today. And today I have with me Patricia Stobie of Alberta Long Association and Andrew Heshka of Health Canada. Patricia and Andrew, welcome. Good to see you guys. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey guys, so we're here to chat about radon and to let homeowners know a little bit more about radon gas. So how about we start off with something as simple as what is radon gas? Radon is an odorless, colorless, tasteless radioactive gas that's caused from the breakdown of uranium, so rock and soil in the ground. Oh, okay. And so as a homeowner, if I'm looking at the effects of radon, what are the effects of radon in my home if the levels are high? So the only known health effect of high levels of radon is an increased risk of developing lung cancer. And it's estimated that approximately 3,000 Canadians are dying from radon each year. What are the occurrences of radon in the Alberta region? Recent research um, from the Vic Radon study suggests um, it's about one in seven homes in Edmonton have high levels. Okay. In comparison, it's about one in eight in Calgary and one in six in rural areas. And when we talk Edmonton, are we, are we're talking about Edmonton and surrounding areas, meaning St. Albert, Sherwood Park, and so on. Yes? Correct, yes. Okay, that's awesome. Yep. Last year, because I became aware, I had my home tested. My numbers came in quite low. It came in at 33 back rows. Um, should my neighbor who lives right next door be someone who should get tested as well? Uh, so first of all, it's important that everyone tests their home for radon. Um, so even though your level, levels were low, it doesn't mean your neighbor's levels will be low. What would you say to a homeowner out there just thinking? There's no need to because I haven't had an issue. I've lived here for years. So I would tell them radon is a serious health risk and we recommend that you test for it. Um, it's better to know what your level is and you, need, you want to protect yourself and your family. So test, test for radon. When I get my home tested, what levels are acceptable versus not acceptable? So Health Canada has set an action level of 200 becquerels per meter cubed. It's important to recognize that that is an action level, it's not a safe level. Um, Health Canada does say that there is no safe level, so it's important to reduce your level your exposure to radon as low as possible. Okay. Um, and then if you're above the action level, Health Canada recommends you take action to reduce your exposure to radon. All right, and when you say take action, what does that mean? So that means mitigation. Okay. So the most common way to mitigate your levels of radon is to do what's called subsoil depressurization. Okay. So essentially that involves um, putting a pipe through the foundation of your home and then in having a fan that's going to uh, remove the radon before it can get into the home. And it's vented out s outside safely out the side of your home. If I have an existing home, I would have, or I assume there are mitigation experts that handle this. Yes, so there's a list of certified people, mm -hmm. um, c-nrpp.ca is the place where you can find that list and then uh, you can hire someone that's certified to do a radon mitigation. Now that I got my home tested, would I have to get it retested after a period of time after the mitigation is, is done? So Health Canada recommends that um, you at least test your home once and then generally that's uh, going to be sufficient. Okay. Um, unless you do major renovations to the home, in which case uh, Health Canada recommends you retest again. That changes a little bit if you have done mitigation, in which case Health Canada recommends you retest every two years. All right, so when you say major renovation, what would be some examples of a major renovation? So that would include uh, changing windows, uh, moving walls around, uh, finishing a basement, things such as that. So maybe we can chat a little bit about the actual testing. I know when I did the testing was over a period of time. Uh, it was over the winter months when my home was closed up and therefore it was done. I did it from November till April of the following year. So could you tell us a little bit more about the short term testing versus long term testing? So Health Canada only recommends long term testing, which is at least 91 days testing. and. Ideally during the winter months. 
uh, so if possible, the exact months that you tested between okay. November and April. Um, as far as short-term testing goes, the, the results can vary quite a bit because um, radon levels fluctuate throughout the home quite a bit throughout the year. So the long-term testing gets rid of all the uh, highs and lows and gives you what your average would be in the home. Okay. What's short-term testing? What, over what period and what is involved in that type of an approach? So short-term testing is usually a day or two, maybe less than a week. Um, like, a, like Andrew said, it, um, it's recommended for a long-term test. It's yes. important to understand radon levels fluctuate and the best time to test um, is during the winter months, the heating season, yes. three months, as that's when you're gonna get your um, most accurate result. So people listening to this, if they said, hey, I want to get my home tested, where do they get the kit? So they can purchase it from the, um, our website, so on Alberta Lung Association website. Um, they're $30. Um, shipping and lab fees can be additional. Uh, lab fees are included in our kits. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, so they log onto your website, they get the kit, or they can pop down to help yeah. to, to yeah, Alberta Lung Association to pick it up. Yeah. And, um, and therefore they could start their testing this winter. Yeah, this is a perfect time to start testing right now. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else that you would want to add that we haven't covered? Um, yeah, so I would like to add, uh, there is a, a new program um, which was recently released in Edmonton Public Libraries as well as Red Deer Public Libraries. Um, so it's called the Radon Screening Program. Yes. So um, it's an electronic device, um, so it's a three-week time frame that uh, you can lend um, it's called the Corinthium Home out and it, primarily it was um, the purpose of it. The purpose of the rating screening kit is to create awareness um, and to for people to understand there is actually radon in their home um, but ultimately we recommend a long-term test kit. Well guys I um, want to thank you for coming out and telling us uh, a little bit more about radon and what a homeowner should be looking at in their homes and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again next year hopefully all right <laughs> Patricia perfect thank all you right. thank you very much thank you